In we go. I'm really curious what this is going to be. Because if I suddenly get a whole new cast of characters to deal with, because a, a club assumes, you know, multiple people, not just an individual person. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What Hello, is your Matthew business Mercer. tonight? Yet again. I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting to be able to walk around. I was expecting a, uh, there's a lot of blood here. A situation where, um, we get to, I don't know, just talk to people for a while. Although I now have 1500 XP. Here. Well, let's loot. They won't mind if I loot, right? The I'm Ascalon sure Club. the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the Exactly. They got money. I don't have to. I'm just going to take what I see, you know? Just be uh, uh, resourceful. There you go. That's a word for it. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Okay. He does not want to talk to me. I'm okay with that. This is rather curious. What, what happened here? Probably the hunters came for him. Where did I just go? Did I just go outside? Ah, that's not good. <laughs> Try this again in a moment. I'm gonna make sure that I can, um, okay, yep, yeah, I did go outside. I wanna make sure I don't do that again. Which sucks that you could just go outside. I'm assuming the dude is upstairs, so I probably should just go upstairs and do that and then look around, but I don't, like, I don't know if um, I'm suddenly gonna be unable to look through here, so I kind of want to look through first. Maybe I'll get hints, you know? Like this. What is this? The history and purpose of the Ascalon Club. The Ascalon Club is an association of gentlemen secretly aiming for the protection of the Crown's interests. I founded it in 1837 to honor and perpetuate the legacy of my maker, William Marshall, first Earl of Pembroke and true protector of England. All the members of the club must be of good extraction and flawless moral fiber. Since the club accepts mortal members who will be duly observed and valued as proper candidates for immortality, the goal of the club is to impose respectable traditions and behaviors amongst the good vampire society, but also to promote and expand the imperial hegemony of England. Um... We are the true elite of British society. We are Ascalon, the holy lance held by St. George's, protector of England, where the saint slew the dragon. As lance bearers ourselves, we vow to defend the empire's interests from the law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave, founder. I like finding stuff like that. I've mentioned it before, but I think that the little lore things in this game are really, really cool. And I highly enjoy reading through the world they've set up mostly because it's a cool world it wouldn't be nearly as enjoyable if it were rather boring all right let's go upstairs i think i found everything down here unless i could play the piano which i doubt that i can uh, it just wants me to go that way let's look over here so that uh, i'll take any shillings I did spend quite a bit so i don't want to i don't want to get really low again if i can get my stash back up that would be way better although it was money well spent that I should actually upgrade my stuff though because i buy this stuff but i haven't upgraded anything and i probably should deconstruct some stuff too wow there's a lot of stuff here i wasn't expecting to be able to loot can i loot this side too no that side's already looted Ooh, where's that well that was worthwhile going in there holy cow there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff Ascalon Club, as it turns out, lots of money. I'm not gonna walk that way. I've, I've just learned my lesson. Instead, I'm gonna go around and check out what the other side has to offer. 
a good dagger, which does stamina damage? No, it requires stamina. It does not really do a whole lot other than absorb blood. I don't, I don't know. I guess I have a good dagger now. What does what that compare to this dagger? It's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so if I can get rid of the bad daggers, I will do that. Although this one is already upgraded one over. And you know what do I have? I want to check. Almost have enough to upgrade this to the highest. Gonna want to do that if I can. Ooh, what was that? More shillings. Okay. I think I've... Is that something? No. I think I've delayed long enough. I can't go in that way. So let's run around. I should have gone left first. Because I should have known that the right way is always the right way. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansha was no match for him. Here, here, here. Here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Oh, okay. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol, and chairman of this exclusive association. I was going to ask Redgrave if this guy was just going to randomly walk in during this, but no, he's Redgrave. The last we meet, I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Oh, and Please now we're in normal conversation. My condolences for your loss, Doctor Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes, the lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Uh, I admire her. She's a close friend. She's proven useful. Um, I do kind of admire her. Although, he was like, you know, she can kind of be a pain in the butt. So, she's proven useful? Or I admire her? She has proven useful. She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this scowl plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. I see. Okay, so this is like a... I'm, the feeling I'm getting is this is a super important conversation that I'm having with this dude. Every decision here is going to be very important for me. I kind of get where his um, personality is going here. He's kind of like, you know, he, he, from what we read in that little letter, he is the founder of the Ascalon Club, which seeks to take predominant people within, within Great Britain and cause them to become immortal uh, if they want to obviously and kind of have this club of important people so everything to him is about preserving that so I need to take that point of view now I think in order to get any kind of hints from him so not why now or maybe why now why me and why so or why suddenly so friendly now I need to ask why me why do you suddenly need me? The Ascalon Club only recruits the best, and you definitely fit the bill. Your scientific and medical reputation alone would qualify you as a candidate. Do you okay. want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. 
we shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? Um, how much information do I want to give this guy? I feel like he is picking up hints on me. If that makes any sense. I think they did an excellent job of that. Where it feels like I've, this entire game, I've been like, well, you know, ooh, I'm learning this little thing about you and this little thing about you. But this dude is like, he's been around a long time. I feel like he's trying to do the same thing about me. He's trying to use the game mechanics on me. Um, don't speak about my family. It's no concern of yours. Um, no, I don't. Actually, I think I should just be honest with him because I think he knows more than he lets on. No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. Uh, I have questions. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. I don't understand this camera angle. I, I can't change it. It's just that's what it's gone to. What does it mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the crown. That you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Okay. Have you any official recognition? Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire. But the true nature of its members remains a secret. Hmm. Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members. And I do appreciate obedience. Okay, I see. This could be bad. What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. Hmm. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. Okay. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. Hmm. Okay. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all Skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. Okay, I see. It gives me no other choice other than I join. I agree to join the club. This is Curious. good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. I don't know how I feel about them not giving me a choice to join. My them. fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Ooh. Is his creepy. Sure. Creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes. I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation.
Oops, that was weird. <laughs> Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! Well then, that was rather interesting. Oh, look, and now I have all sorts of people to talk to, right? No? Oh, well, I can talk to Redgrave, and I, I plan to do that. But is there loot over here? Most important question. This door is now open. And I don't really see any loot. But there are plenty of people to talk to. Okay, cool. Let's do that. That was crazy. 